Aw, I just ruined it. Hey guys, it's Kuro back here tonight. And, uh, we're doing a Kurapeko. Kurapeko. Very Japanese. Um, we're doing this because we need Flintstones for this awesome, awesomeness order that I have. But apparently my friend, Ian, cannot get it. So we're just gonna try and get this, and we're basically not looking at if we could, um, succeed on the quest, but if we get a flintstone, if we don't, well, it's time to die. Okay, anyway, so, um, sorry about my last video, I know it was pretty crap. Uh, it was pretty terrible, I guess, yeah. Well, fuck it, who gives a shit. Anyway, so, um, I just took four orations there, and, um, I just said, Ian ditched me, my friend Ian. Uh, he's part of my clan, well, not my clan, but I'm a member of it, and he's sad because I suck. Uh, he said, we're a part of a clan called the Lightning Dragons Clan. It's a really awesome clan. Like, the website is so amazing. Anyway. Um, I, probably not going to speak a lot because probably most of you already did this. <laughs> oh, and the, I, what's really funny is that I found a drug. And also hunt and try, like, an actual drug. Not a, um, you know one of those mushrooms, mushroom, and um, the toadstool. It's called a toadstool, not dragon toadstool, but just toadstool. And it's funny because it's supposed it poisons you, right? Or you can place it in certain like monsters, like Alteroth, that bug creepy monster. And yeah, uh, you can put it there and you poison it. And, like if anyone eats like a Barath, they'll po be poisoned. So I was taking it. I was just killing myself because it was a really boring quest. We were doing like a delivery quest so yeah um we're doing that and i took it and i never saw the animation but i was coughing when i when i ate it it, it was so funny it, it was like <laughs> like an actual guy smoking a cigarette for the first time it was so funny and i just said that's the drug in monster hard try anyway so here's the kirapeko um your mind advice to you to fight in the Kirapeko is just if you have a sword and shield, I mean, just always attack behind its legs. And when it's gonna have its turkey neck out, yeah, I call it turkey. People call it a big bird, I call it a turkey. Anyway, so when it's gonna have its turkey neck out, um, just just hit it, uh, go in front of it, do a jump slash, and you should be down in an instant, depending on what sword you have. So yeah, we're just attacking this monster. Um, Ian has a long freaking spear that he's gonna knock me a few times. Like right now. <clears throat> I don't know why they call that a <clears throat> long sword. Sorry about um my voice. It's my voice is shit. It, it just it's just that. It's, it's I'm not sick or anything. It's just shit. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, and always hit its head. Well, see, like Ian has a long sword, so it's pretty hard for me. So, uh, my fault, I guess. I don't know. Always hit its- I, is that where you hit it? Its wings? To get a... Flintstone? I don't know. I mean, I don't really fight this monster. I, well, I do, but it's just, you know, for... Noobies. Face plant. Oh, I love doing that. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, tell me- If you guys can tell me, how do you get the Flintstones out of this monster? And am I even using the right weapon? I mean, should I use a Royal Claw Plus? I don't know. Um, so we're just fighting this monster. Oh, was, I did this just for you guys to see how big this monster is. I mean, some of you are saying, oh, this monster is so small. Technically, in real life, if you're looking at the hunter's perspective, it's not. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I had to have to do an upper slash, keep on hitting it, but I'm going to fail at this part because I missed. I keep on hitting its legs. I shouldn't do that. Oh, and, um, yeah, I'll always bring a dug bomb. Nah, I wouldn't waste it on a Jaggy actually, but my friend did it because, you know, the thing can really piss the shit out of people. So I just went, you know, just fuck it, just throw a dumb bomb. Yeah, um, he told me to get the other monster, I don't know what he told me. I just said no, that's okay, you will get it, or whatever you want. Yeah, um, <laughs> you guys should add Ian, he's a really good character in this, um, he's very strong. Man. He's like a fucking, he has a Rathian plus? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, I don't really give a shit. Anyway, so, I'm just fighting this Kirapeko. 
It's not even like fucking. I'm not doing damage. I'm fucking. I don't know why I'm running away. I mean, I swear I should stop typing. What the fuck, Andy? And Dory. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. I'm just. Oh, whenever you're sharpening, always tell your team that you're sharpening. If you have Wii Speak, you have anything. Well, if you have the Wii Remote, then just do a code. Like, just say, I'm essaying you. That's not a wrong. That's like sexy. Yeah. Anyway, so always just tell your partner I'm sharpening, because then your partner has to distract it for you, or else you're gonna get your ass kicked. I mean, have you ever had a bear with you know, charge at you while you're sharpening? That's just pissed the freaking shit out of you. Well, like, I got pissed off every time it does that. Yeah. Um. So, I we're just fighting this monster, and holy crap, crap, Nikes. Anyway, why does it keep on flying? What the fuck? So, oh my god. Oh, do you guys think Capcom should actually allow the friendly fire shit going on? I mean, maybe you, maybe at, at a point, um, the leader or or anyone else um, can put the friendly fire component or option on. I mean, wouldn't that be better? So, like, at the end of the quest, if you want to, you know, hit each other, then whatever, go ahead, just put the option on. But on the quest you probably don't want to I mean, should you really do that should there should Capcom put the friendly fire just automatically on so that's my question to you I think it's pretty fucking stupid like I don't want to keep on hitting my partner because when I hit my partner and he's about to do like a fucking awesome move he gets hit or I get hit and or getting like a fight and oh that's just if you play Monster Hunter Tri for a lot, a long time, you'll know that there's a lot of drama from the friendly fire. It's so funny, really. I had the well, this girl, <clears throat> and there's well, there's this guy. He comes along in a quest. We don't really know him, and um, so we're just you know we're just we are fighting a Diablo, and he was fucking easy, obviously, but we were fighting him anyway. And this guy, he comes in with like a shark glance. I mean, Shark Line's pretty good, I guess, but maybe for a Dialos, yeah, I guess it's good. Anyway, well, whatever. Um, so we fight it, and um, the guy with a Shark Lance, he starts hitting my, my friend, the girl. And the girl gets so angry, she says, who the fuck is um, this guy, right? I'm not going to tell him your names, because you guys are going to add him, and you send nasty messages. Anyway, so yeah, and he kept on hitting her, and the girl got so angry. She's like, "Okay, I get out, or he gets out." And it was so funny. She says, "Okay, you know what? I'm gonna log off and talk to my boyfriend." And that's where I realized, um, why does your boyfriend just play with you instead? Some boyfriend, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop you now. Okay, so it was pretty funny. The drama was so awesome. If you guys come with me, um, you come. I'm joking. If you guys play with me, it, you'll see a lot of drama. It, it's so fucking funny. You'll, you'll laugh your ass off. I mean, and then after you'll see how shit I am. But that's all in good time. <laughs> well, whenever the monster, like the Kirapeko, leaves, um, in Area Seven, just just go to Area Eight, and don't worry about the Jaggy. The Jaggy comes like right after when he fly. She flies. Oh. And do you think um, Capcom should, um, like, you know, when you're looking for um, your friends or whatever, they should put, like, their gender just in case? Because, you know, I don't really want to be playing with, um, like, a, what's it called, what you might call it, like a 90-year-old. Uh, no offense to the old people there, it's just that old people freak me out. If you guys see the Fluffy Talks video, <laughs> yeah, now I'm pretty freaked out. Anyway, so I'm just teabagging this monster. It's funny, just keep on pressing Z if you guys know how to, just keep on pressing Z if you have a sword and shield, and you just teabag the monster. Watch, teabagging, teabagging, teabag. I always do that to my friends, when they're knocked down, or they're fainted, I just go up to them, I say fuck the monster, I just teabag the shit out of them. Cause it's awesome, you always gotta rub your testicles off some guy. Oh, I saw a fucking game. Okay, so we're done the quest. I don't think we get a Flintstone, do we? I, I don't know. Uh, I destroyed the beak. 
get, get some point for that. Let's see. Uh -huh, so... Yeah. Oh, you know the helmet I'm wearing? I will always wear that helmet. It is so fucking awesome. Until I get the Barrius, I will wear that helmet to the end. The helmet is at... I might put it, I put it at a maximum level. It does a lot of protection, but not great, but... If you infuse it with armor sphere, it does so much for you. Anyway, yeah, I'm Hunter rank 30, and we didn't get a we didn't get a new record. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Kieran Knight, and I.